I'm Gainsey. Uh, this is a brief overview and firing demo of my cardboard blaster. Probably asking why have I made a Nerf blaster out of cardboard? Well, Britnerf uh, posted on their forum that they were running a competition to see who could build the best working cardboard blaster. So I created this. Uh, as you can see, it's mostly cardboard tubes, toilet rolls inside of cling film rolls and other tubing like that. The grip is made up of uh, corrugated cardboard. I made a stencil, um, then just cut out loads of them, layered it up. It's about 12 I think there. Got the priming bar, which again I've layered is a different type of cardboard. There, it's just a, quite rigid. It's about four layers on that one. Um, yeah, it's all glued together um, using no more nails wood glue. There's one screw which is holding the priming bar to the bolt sled, which you can't see in there because it's so tight, but it's in there. Um, yeah, so the internals is basically an Elite Alpha Trooper with the AR removed and then I'm using a Tri-Strike spring because it's the most, it's the narrowest spring I had and I didn't want to put too much power into it because I didn't know if it would hold together. Yeah, so I guess it's time to see the firing demo. If you want full like build breakdown with photos of all the bits as I was building it, I will be putting that on um, Britnerf forum um, once I've uploaded this video and there'll be a link in the description. Right, let's do this then. So let's um, prime it and give it a fire. There you can see the plunger rod staying in place. Now it works with Stefan's or half lengths, whatever you want to call them. So it takes a katana mac. The um, Alpha Trooper bolt has, let me just before I put that in, I don't know, yeah. You might be able to see in there, you can see that side is a little longer than the other side. So the mag just hooks over it. Do have to push in a little bit? I'll explain some of these bits later. Uh, once we've done this, and then just it's a bit loose at the moment. With a bit of work, it'll be fine. And then triggers all wobbly, as you can see. So we'll have to do the cheat way, which is grab onto the catch and. So, no darts come out, as you can see. That's for several reasons. Um, basically, um, the um, Elite Alpha Trooper I used was total garbage, to be honest. It wasn't firing, it was being sat in a garage for ages, and it was all in, like, it was working, but the O-rings were all, like, rotted. Not rotted, but they were dry. Um, I didn't replace them. I didn't re-lube, which was a mistake. I should have done that. Um, so all the seals in the plunger, plunger rod, the pusher, all that, is basically awful. Um, so... That's part of the reason. Um, you also, when I had this open before, you'd see in there, there's a little piece of brass. Because the Elite Alpha Trooper is designed for full lengths, not half lengths, this, um, it wouldn't, the half lengths were sitting really loose in the bolt. So 
the air was just seeping outside. So I added that little stub of brass, literally like half the length of one of these, so about that long piece of brass, just super glued in there. Um, but now the seal's too tight for this spring. Um, I do have a 12, I think it's a 12 kg NF strike, tri strike spring, um, which now I can see that there's very little stress around happening around where I've glued it all up. Um, I might try that when I try and fix this. Um, also, the last thing, I added a few, a bit of more cardboard on the inside here to make it narrow so the rod comes out but the spring stays in. I guess the spring rest, maybe. Um, I didn't leave, give it any pre-compression, which would have helped. But also, from where I've been testing it, um, it's worn and mashed up the cardboard inside, the spring has. So now there's, I don't think it's quite loose, it might just be wedged in the cardboard, but um, yeah, it's not as kind of snappy as um, as it was when like the first like three or four times I fired it. Um, but yeah, the reason I've uploaded this and I'm entering this into the competition, even though it doesn't actually fire, is because I, it catches, which is the hard part. Um, it just doesn't have a good enough seal, probably spring, to um, force the darts out, unfortunately. Now, the competition ends in just under two weeks. I'm going on holiday in two days. So... I don't have time to cut it open, which I'd literally have to get a knife and cut it open to remove this piece, to put a new spring in, redo the inside of this bit, um, lube and put a new o-ring on the plunger rod and head. Um, to do the pusher, I would probably just have to recreate a whole new one of these, which took me weeks because the glues the glue takes like 24 hours to cure and harden properly. Um, so I don't have time to redo it now before the competition ends. So I'm going to enter it anyway, see what happens. You never know. Um, so yeah, that's my cardboard blaster. I hope you like it. Um, I will, when I get back off holiday, I've got to do some maintenance on my yellow Retalicon, which if you don't know what that is, check out my Instagram, there's some pictures there. If you want me to do a review of that, just comment below. Um, and then I might return to this and try and get it to actually work. Watch this space. Um, and check out the Britner forum. Look it up. Read the full brief and description. There's photos, everything. And yeah, I don't know how to end videos because this is my first one. So I'll just... End it. Doo.